experience is part of it, um, but primarily it's reading. Uh, reading memoirs, particularly reading anything, even fiction written before whatever I was writing about, whether it's 1938, 1944, then you realize anytime you steal a detail, like what they eat for dinner or uh, what sounds the streetcars made, then you realize, okay, that's probably accurate, you know? Um, so, like for example, some reviewer was picking on me for pre-packaged sandwiches somewhere in there. I think after Marie's father is taken prisoner, the Germans bring them pre-packaged sandwiches. And I read that in some prisoner's memoir. I was kind of surprised as well. I'm like, I didn't make that up, I promise. <laughs> I've always loved miniatures. You know, I loved playing with Legos as a boy. I've loved the idea of little worlds inside bigger worlds. I think that's kind of what a novel is. You know, you pick up a you pick up a book and it's got a whole world inside of these pages. And so that's what kind of Jules Verne represents to her as well. And then being able to stand over a city and you know play with scale, I think, is really interesting. I'm getting questions like that I never thought I would get like you know do you tend this as a response to shorter attention spans and the Twitter universe that we live in and you know I never expected any of those things I just thought you know each each of these characters is a plate that I'm trying to spin and you have to go touch that plate pretty regularly to keep it spinning in your readers mind and I worried that if I left for more than three or four pages that plate would start to wobble and fall down and the reader would you know forget about what was happening in Marie's world Fun. I'm in love with radio and to go back to a time when radio was this paramount technology, you know, that um, in a middle lower income German home, this one state subsidized machine, this black radio was the one link to the larger world that, you know, that, and Germany's using it in these really awful ways to pump propaganda into these people's kitchens. Um, yeah, I loved it. I loved um, trying to re return to this moment when uh, hearing the voice of a stranger in your house was kind of a miracle. Ultimately, you were making assumptions about a uh, time and a culture that you were not part of. Um, so, yeah, you're afraid. You hope you got things right and you don't want to alienate people for whom this war is memory. There aren't too many people left who still remember these events, but there are some. And the last thing you want is to be disrespectful. All these events did occur. Um, there's also, you know, the characters are invented and the way they interact really um, is informed by folktale. And, so I hope the reader understands that while they are, I hope, learning some things they didn't know about the war, at the same time it's its own self-contained universe, much like the puzzle boxes that are inside it.